Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Alex here and welcome back to a new series. So today I want to play Slay the Spire. It's a game that I wanted to play for a long time, but I've been reluctant to play it because it's been in early access for so long. But yeah, I just want to get into it right now. So let's start. I am a huge fan of card games, by the way, although I haven't played one in quite a long time. So yeah. It's gonna be fun to see. I haven't watched this game barely anything. Um, okay, so I guess we got uh, different modes here. So I basically don't know much about this game. I've seen like one or two episodes from Northern Line, but that's about it. Morgan Quest to Slay the Spire. So this is your daily challenges and customs. Okay. So I played a lot of Binding of Isaac. If you aren't if you aren't familiar with me as a as a content creator. So I do love the roguelike formula, which is why I decided that I wanted to play this game on the shell. I'm gonna go ahead and pick standard. And I've only seen the third character, uh, which might have been too bad. <laughs> but I haven't seen the first or second character. Uh, well, I've seen how they look like, but not what they do or how they work. The Ironclad, 80 HP, gold 99, the remaining soldier of the Ironclads. Soul is soul to harness demonic energies. Burn, so, okay, so this is, I think, a relic. Burning blood at the end of combat heals 6 HP. That's pretty good. Okay, so we can get more unlocks on it. Alright. Bark, let's go. I'm very excited. Wanted to play this for so long. Ever since this was announced in Early Access, I wanted to play it, but... I, I, I'm i really against Early Access games. Alright, so... Uh, <clears throat> I've seen how this looks like. Um, I think these guys with the horns are elites. Oh, yeah, you can see it here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can scroll up and down too. Nice. All right, so uh, I guess a shop would be pretty nice. So we're going to start here then. I have to start with a fight anyways. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. The cards require energy to play once you're out and your turn. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and energy is replenished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like Hearthstone. Play defensive cards to gain block when enemies are about to attack. Yeah, yeah, I know this. Block reduces incoming attack, but worse off at the start of next turn. Yeah, I knew that too. During your turn, you can observe an enemy intent above them. An enemy's intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. All right. All right, six damage, five. Deal eight applied to vulnerable. I don't know what vulnerable means. Oh, it says here vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage from attacks. Ooh. So I guess just during that turn or something. Um, okay, so we have three energy. So this one is just gonna attack me, and this icon means it's gonna give a negative effect to me. So I guess this is the one I wanna kill first. Um, although I can't deal 18 damage, so. Mm. I think I just wanna get rid of this so I don't take damage. And then with my last remaining, I guess we... I guess block doesn't matter here since it's not gonna attack me for damage. So if you've watched this game before, I'm sorry that you have to go through me reading everything, but obviously it's my first time playing, so I do wanna play properly. Um, okay, so it's gonna attack for seven. So the safe play here would be just Block twice and then attack to try to stay at full health. Tip no more cards. If there are no more cards to draw, your discard pile is shuffled into the draw pile. Yeah, yeah, I know that. That's kind of the main thing about this game that I really love. On the start when I saw it. Okay, so we just have one defend. Hmm. Ooh, I got one more. Damn, that's unfortunate. We're gonna take 10 damage now. Unlucky. I didn't quite understand how the vulnerable worked, so I just wanted to try it out. And then you're dusted. Okay, so we got a gold explosive potion. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. Okay, so that's gonna go up here, I think. Yeah. It's a one time use, then I believe. Drink or throw potions during combat. Potions stay with you between rooms. So, I wonder what's the. Oh, this card is just you. Just get away and throw it means you use it. We'll get a card. 
apply one week to all enemies exhaust so i, I believe exhaust oh yes i see removed until the end of combat yeah yeah okay wait until the end of combat no 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 never mind that's actually what i believed it to be in the beginning uh, I, I thought exhaust meant that the card gets removed from a deck for the entire battle until the next one and this seems to be the case deal 25 less damage with attacks so this would be good against a lot of enemies it also costs zero mana which is good or energy i like same mana gain eight block draw a card that's pretty good you six damage add a copy of this card into your discard pile so it means you'll get more of these as you go that's kind of good actually but <clears throat> i don't think draw power is actually as good in this game so we're gonna take anger here enemy intends to use a buff okay so we don't need to block here uh, does it matter if i use this or not i don't think so but i guess i'll use them i don't know maybe that's wasteful or something i don't know i don't know if you don't use your cards i don't know if they go back in your deck immediately or discord pile okay Hit for six, so we're gonna just block and then we're gonna attack. Okay, yeah, yeah, they went into the discard pile. <clears throat> um, gonna bash and defend. Oh, so this number. Is equivalent to the amount of turns it has this buff slash debuff okay that's good to know so just for this one turn it did i get deal double damage again so yeah we, we can just kill him here the nine damage draw card that's better than the last one we had oh wait but this one is not free Every card in your hand is an attack, deal 14 damage. So that could be good on some specific builds, really aggro builds. Gain 2 strength at the end of this turn, lose 2 strength. Adds additional damage to attacks. I think I'll just have the Pommel Strike. Keep it simple for now. Okay, so no negative effects. Straight up upgrade a card. Um. I think that was good because all of the copies should be upgraded too, right? That would make sense. All right, let's go to the shop. We have 129 gold. Welcome. Okay. Most expensive card that we can't buy. Shuffle three random attacks into your drop pile like a zero. Ooh. Prevent the first time you would lose HP each combat. Upon pickup, choose an attack. Start each combat with this card in your hand. Oh, that's really good. I don't have enough for that, though. Cards with exhaust when played will instantly discard 50% of the time. Oh, okay. So if you have a lot of exhaust cards, that's a good one to have. <coughs> Game one artifact. So I guess that's just a random one. Hmm. <laughs> this one seems pretty good. Innate, what does that mean? Start each combat with this card in your hand. Huh. But that's only good for AoE. Plus one less energy for each time you lose HP this combat. Hmm. It seems pretty good. At the end of your turn, lose one HP and deal five damage to all enemies. I like this one. Let's try this one. And then let's get a... Perfect, okay. 
onwards then. Yeah, yeah, so we get copies of the upgrade ones, that's very nice. Uh, Alright. Um, it tends to block and use a buff, okay. I think this one is only good against the E, so we shouldn't waste health like that. So we need to hit him for eight, which we will. Uh, gain seven block exhaust around the corner in your hand. That's pretty bad. Unless this is the last card you use in your hand. Can only be played if every... Oh, yeah, yeah, this one. Deal five damage if the enemy has a vulnerable gain and draw one card. Huh. I guess we can try this build. Go for like a vulnerable build or something. That's a thing you can do. Uh, we're gonna smith here. I've seen this before. Gonna upgrade our bash since we want to go for that build then. It's gonna be a pretty important card. Uh, Scan it for 13. I'll take three damage here. I think that was a pretty fine play. But now we are vulnerable too. Can we kill him here? I think so. Yeah. Nice. Um, deal 4 damage and apply 1 vulnerable to all enemies. Apply 3 weak and vulnerable to all enemies. Exhaust. What's weak? Weak and creatures deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen this one before. Not this card, but seen this effect before. The three damage to random enemies three times. Uh, kind of like magic missiles in Hearthstone. I do want Thunderclap though. So we're going for this vulnerable build thingy. I took a lot of damage here. Jeez. Gonna block it up. I think six damage here. That's fine. Uh, we wanted to combust at the first turn, so that's kind of too late. Pretty bad. Take six damage again. Took a lot of damage this fight. All right. Steroid potion. Oh yeah, we have this steroid potion to them. You have 5 strength at the end of your turn. Lose 5 strength, okay. <laughs> Definitely take this one. What is this? Treasure. On the hand, whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero. Oh, that's pretty good. 
tips relics. Relics found throughout the spire grant unique bonuses and remain throughout the run. They can be found by defeating power powerful foes or within chests. Okay, so you get them from elites too, I guess. That would be my assumption. Trail. Less block for two turns. But it's not gonna attack us again, so. Guess we just go home. Oh. So then he loses his weakening. So this is kind of a counter character for our build. Um, just gonna use our defense here. Hmm. Very really interesting so far, I like it. I want to bash this guy, but I don't have a kill other than this one. I guess I can do this. And then bash. And I kill him. All right. Oh, damn. Okay. Just got to think a little bit. Uh, we're gonna... Oh, we can't trick it. Okay. Uh... Yeah. <clears throat> Rapture, whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Mm, okay, I see. <clears throat> but this one isn't upgraded, so I don't want any more of these. I yeah, will take this one. Sure. I don't got any more money. The end of your turn, deal one damage to all enemies for each attack play this turn. That's pretty good, but it would not do enough for that. Deal five damage twice. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll grab this, I think. I just want to read some of these. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Start of each. Combat apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Dude, this is the one. This is the one we wanted. Oh, it costs money to remove them. I was thinking maybe you can sell cards. No, that would be too broken. I think a common misconception with games like this are that you need a lot of cards in your deck because you really don't. A lot of the times, uh, more uh, sorry, less cards can be can be more. Want that block earlier, whatever. Theory Lutra steals 15 gold whenever it attacks. Oh, that's horrible. We're broke. Huh. How do you even. Oh, stolen back, okay. I don't think I care about that one. Definitely grab twin strikes. In case we got a surprise fight.
Okay. Interesting. I think we need this. I think we can just kill him straight up, right? Yeah. Easy clap. Oh, I like this one. Uh -huh. Just like a swig of water. <clears throat> Another fight, huh? Seven damage, get another sixty five. And then I think we can just straight up kill him, right? Yeah. Easy clap. Let's draw one. Just one card, draw two cards. Deal damage, you could block. No, no, I actually don't want to know this. <clears throat> then campfire before the boss. I don't know what this boss means, but. I think we're fine. We're gonna upgrade here. Oh, we can't upgrade a previously upgraded card. Okay, okay, I see. Um, I think cleave would be nice, but also twin strike would be pretty nice. Hmm. I think we're gonna go for the cleave upgrade. I like AoE. Right, let's do our first boss of Slay the Spire. Oh, I've seen this guy before, the Guardian. After receiving 30 damage, change to defensive mode. This enemy is to block, okay. That's pretty terrible. still attack him? No, I can't. Okay. It's gonna hit us for nine. Seven damage here, gonna be that thirty-six. <clears throat> Can hit up for sixteen, that's gonna hurt. Can't do anything about it though. Damn, I'm not sure if we're gonna make it. I guess I drafted a really bad deck or something. 
we hit it for 20, so that means definitely we die here if we don't defend. <coughs> we don't six self here. Ooh, yeah, I think we're dusted. Yeah, I don't think our deck has any recovery points. Uh. Yeah, we're dead. Yep. <laughs> we are booked. Yeah, it was a it was a good run, cap up. <laughs> I can't be bad. All right. Let's just fucking go out like a buster. Ooh, actually, no, we triggered this pedestal, so we're not gonna take the damage. Oh, uh, but we still don't have any way to recover health. <sighs> I take damage when I attack him. No! <laughs> All right, it was a good attempt. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.